High hopes as Iran has been welcomed back into the international fold. And at the parliament, the first real dialogue with MEPs took place. We can use the success of the nuclear diplomacy, for which we can all take pride, and apply it to the situation in the region. See if we can redefine the challenges and the opportunities in the region in a way that is conducive to a positive sum game. But MEPs weren't so positive, bringing up Iran's relationship with Saudi Arabia, their involvement in Syria, and their record on human rights. During the two and a half years of Mr. Rouhani's presidency, at least 2,300 citizens have been hanged, including Sunni preachers, and currently detains bloggers and journalists. But Mr. Zarif was quick on the defense. Human rights is not going to be a subject of political maneuvering. Human rights is not going to be an issue that you beat your opponents with. But were MEPs really beating up on Iran? We're coming from a situation of 15 years of sanctions, uh, no dialogue taking place. Of course, huge mistrust on both sides. But what we've seen today is the Foreign Minister to having a very deep and comprehensive dialogue with political interests from across the spectrum in the European Parliament. Iran is a big player anyway. Uh, like it or not, uh, uh, criticizing the regime or not, uh, we have to deal geopolitically with this big country in the region, so uh, nobody can ignore that. Uh, so open up the doors with Iran diplomatically, economically, politically. But the final words went to the Foreign Minister. Iran wants to work with the international community. While Iran is open to work with Europe to reduce the concerns and tensions in the region, believe me, we're not the ones who have to gain your trust. We both need to gain each other's trust.